Hello, a Valentine's Day of wardrobe dilemmas on the way for some of you. Frosty, any places foggy start, but by the afternoon, spring light warm, 16, 17 degrees possible in northwest Wales, well above the 8 degree average for this stage in the month, but not quite as warm as our warmest Valentine's Day recorded in 1998. It's a lot of dry weather and bright weather, but look at the temperatures 13 degrees Murray Firth, 15, 16 North Devon, maybe up to 10, 16 or 17 northwest Wales. But it's across western areas, particularly Northern Ireland, Scott, watch for the sunset in the evening. And do you know what else might make you smile? Carol and I got the same memo, and you clearly didn't. We've gone for the hearts today, haven't we, Carol? There's Morning. hearts all around. I'm feeling have. the love. <laughs> oh, bless you, Ben, and rightly so. Good morning, everybody. Happy St. Valentine's Day. Now, if you're stepping out shortly, it's worth noting there's some dense fog. These are the areas likely to be affected by it. Met Office has a yellow weather morning out until 11 o'clock this morning, so it's something to bear in mind. That will only slowly lift. For some, it won't actually clear until lunchtime. And then we're looking at sunny spells. It's going to be mild today. Parts of Wales could actually hit 16 or 17 degrees. She never loses a temper. She's <laughs> always charming. Morning, Carol. Morning. <laughs> Bless you both. Good morning. <laughs> this morning, if you are travelling, it's worth mentioning there is some dense fog around. The Met Office has a yellow weather warning out for these areas. Visibility is down to 50 or 100 metres in some places. And as well as this, Temperatures have fallen below freezing for some, so there's some freezing fog and also some frost to watch out for too. But all of that will lift slowly for some, maybe not till lunchtime, perhaps a little bit later. And then we're looking at sunny spells and mild conditions. Well, how mild? Well, if you're in Wales today, we could hit 17 degrees in northwest and central parts of Wales. The average at this time of year is 8, but the warmest has been 19.1 in 1998. So we're not quite there, but we're not too far away. So it's turning unsettled towards the end of the week for sure, Sal and Ben. Um, yeah, Carol, I was going to ask you that, actually. Those higher temperatures in Wales that you showed us right at the beginning, are they linked to all the Saharan dust as well? Is it all part of the same thing or are they separate? It's a thing called the Fern Effect, Ben, which is spelt F-O-H-N. If you want to look it up, it's quite lengthy to describe. Um, it's the wind coming over the hills, basically. But that's why. But high pressure is keeping things fine and settled at the moment. But that's why we're going to see the 17, possibly even a little bit more. Really stark difference, isn't it? Carol, I will look yes. that up. Thank you. That's so <laughs> useful. I knew you would have the answer. You always have the answer. Thank you. Mm, thanks. <laughs> Uh, let's talk uh, to the totally tropical Carol. <laughs> Carol, good morning. <laughs> good morning, both. Good morning to you. There's a wee bit of mm, tropical weather in the forecast today in the sense that in Wales we could hit 17 degrees later on. But that's after we've lost some fog and some frost, particularly so across parts of England where the fog at the moment is dense. The Met Office has a yellow weather warning out for this and it will only slowly lift through the day. Good morning both. Good morning to you too. This morning, if you're in England or East Wales and you haven't yet stepped out, there is some dense fog. One of our weather watchers sent us this picture taken a little bit earlier in Lewistoft in Suffolk. Through this evening, the high pressure drifts a little bit further eastwards and we start to pull in this Saharan dust. And we've also got a weather front coming our way as well. So the Saharan dust is more likely to be seen across parts of Northern Ireland and Scotland as it comes down in this band of rain. Now, this rain is going to be heavy as it moves into Northern Ireland and Western Scotland. We could have 20 to 30 millimetres from it. Shall we have a look outside the window? Shall we? Shall we? Look at that. Oh, uh Sorry to be picky, but I think that might need a clean, that window. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, what a beautiful morning. But don't you reckon however clean your windows are, when the sun <laughs> hits at a certain angle, <laughs> they look filthy? I'm slightly mortified <laughs> by that. Are you going to get a ladder out? <laughs> I'm just I'm not sure. I'll find you a bucket and a Very bucket, house proud. <laughs> Someone needs to clean that window. Shall I do that? 9.14, that'll be me with my mop. Yeah, I'll go and get you a bucket of water. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, send you up the ladder. Uh, <laughs> it's a gorgeous view outside. And uh, Carol was telling us it's going to be sort of unseasonably warm in some parts of the country, isn't it, Carol? Morning. Absolutely right, Ben. Yes. Good morning, both. Good morning to you, too. There are some beautiful pictures of sunrises this morning. As you can see, one of our weather watchers sent this in a bit earlier from Anglesey and we could see some beautiful sunsets and sunrises tonight and tomorrow morning as we pull up some more Saharan dust. Tuesday the 14th of February 
Carol is definitely feeling the love this morning. Morning, Carol. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning, both. Good morning to you two. Yes, love is in the air. Look at my two pigeons. Somebody sent this in. One of our weather watchers from Warwickshire, Little Acorn. So thank you very much for that one. But there's a lot of fog around, as we saw in Warwickshire, as we're seeing in Yorkshire, and we're also seeing in Greater London this morning. The Met Office has a yellow weather warning out for all the areas I've just shown you, and some more as well.